Sometime in the last couple of months, I don't remember exactly when, Hasbro announced that they were introducing a Sergeant Slaughter action figure into the G.I. Joe classified line. And today, as part of San Diego Comic-Con, the pre-order for this figure went live on Hasbro Pulse. And with that announcement came um, some interesting pieces of information that I kind of wanted to analyze and take a bit of a dive into. So um, let's discuss the new G.I. Joe classified Sergeant Slaughter action figure. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. As a kid growing up in England, we weren't familiar with WWE or WWF wrestling. I don't even know what it was called back in the 80s. So when Sergeant Slaughter was introduced into the Action Force line, we had no comprehension of, of, of who he was within the wrestling world. So his name was changed to Sergeant Slammer because Sergeant Slaughter was, teamed a little, was deemed a little bit too violent for British children. So with that in mind, I have no real connection to this particular character. But what I'm sure a lot of you do know is that I have a strong connection to Valiverse and the Action Force toy line. And over the last six to eight months, uh, Valiverse has re have released two different versions of Sergeant Slaughter under the Action Force banner. And now we're getting a Sergeant Slaughter action figure in the same scale as part of G.I. Joe Classifieds. Now, I'm going to say up front that as much as I you know, really like the Valorverse figures, and particularly version 2 of Sergeant Slaughter, I think is an awesome, awesome action figure. I am genuinely happy for the G.I. Joe fans out there that have always wanted um, a 6-inch scaled Sergeant Slaughter figure within the G.I. Joe classified line based on his look in the comics and the cartoons and that kind of thing. I'm genuinely happy for you guys. But when the announcement came today that this figure was going to be sold for $33.99, I started to kind of shake my head a little bit and think, where is the value for money here? So, first of all, before I get into that, that kind of value for money um, discussion. The first thing I want to do is actually take a look at the buck that's been used for this particular figure. For the eagle-eyed among you, for you keen action figure enthusiasts who are well into the G.I. Joe classified line, you'll already be aware that this is the Amazon exclusive roadblock body with different boots and obviously a completely different head because this looks like a young Sergeant Slaughter, Sergeant Slaughter from the 80s. And I gotta say that I'm not a fan of this particular body. It has an overly large upper torso, chest kind of shoulder area, and then a very skinny waist. It kind of looks like a guy who's been going to the gym for years, you know, doing arm day and skipping leg day. Back in the 80s when Sergeant Slaughter was brought into the G.I. Joe line, he didn't look like this. He looked like this. And in addition to that, this is not a pinless body. I believe there are pinless knees, but there are not pinless elbows. And in 2022, there's no excuse for any six-inch scaled action figure company to be bringing out action figures that still have pins in the joints. And before any of you want to jump into the comments and say that you don't care about the, the pins in the elbows, stop lying to yourself. All right. I know you're passionate about Sergeant Slaughter and I know you're passionate about G.I. Joe. And I'm not here to slam the character that you love. I'm not happy with the product that Hasbro is trying to sell to you for $33.99. There's a big difference. I'm not slamming Sergeant Slaughter and I'm not slamming your love of G.I. Joe. But if you're going to sit here in 2022 when for years and years and years six inch scaled action figure collectors have been begging these companies to do pinless joints. And if you're gonna turn around and say, the, the pins don't bother me, you're lying to yourself and you, you're trying to fool me. Now, when it comes to value for money, I really wanna break down what it is that we actually get with this figure. Hasbro is advertising this figure as though it comes with 14 accessories. But bear in mind, eight of those 14 accessories are hands. This figure comes with eight different hands, so four pairs. That takes up a large proportion of that list of extra accessories within the box. The other accessories include hat, glasses, 
whistle, swagger stick, a Soviet rifle for some bizarre reason. Again, much like the break open pump action shotgun that they gave to Flint in the line. This just smacks of a toy designer who is not familiar with firearms. I have no idea why they've given a real American hero, Sergeant Slaughter, a Soviet weapon system. And then finally we get Mini Sarge. And I don't really get the point of this. I think perhaps the marketing and design team at Hasbro are trying to be some somewhat meta, uh, given that, you know, Sarge was a mail-away figure back in the 80s, but it just does, the concept and whole idea behind it doesn't land. Do you remember sometime around 1998, I think it was 98, when we started to get a Real American Hero action figures on card backs, packed in with these micro figures? They were completely pointless. Absolutely pointless. All the kids I knew, and myself included, if you got a figure during this period that was packed in with a micro figure, you would take the genuine articulated three and three quarter inch figure off the card with the accessories, and that micro figure would get thrown in the bottom of your toy bin, it would never get used again. So this pack in of the mini me Sarge is, is really pointless to me. But my number one gripe with this G.I. Joe six inch scaled classified Sergeant Slaughter is the price point. $33.99 and advertised as though it's coming with 14 accessories. So let's compare this to the Valiver Sergeant Slaughters because I'm getting quite sick and tired of people on social media telling me that Valiver's figures are overpriced when the Valiver Sergeant Slaughter figures are $2 cheaper than what Hasbro's bringing out. They sell Valiver sell for $31.99, Hasbro for $33.99. So let's compare the different accessories. And in this example, I'm comparing the new G.I. Joe Classified Sergeant Slaughter to the Valiverse Action Force version two Sarge. So the Hasbro version has a hat. The Valiverse version has two hats. The Valiverse version has sunglasses. The Hasbro version has welding goggles. The Hasbro version also has, as I've said, a swagger stick, a whistle, a rifle, eight hands, and mini me Sergeant Slaughter. Whereas the Valiverse version has a jacket and a webbing system. And between the jacket and the webbing system and the alternate hats and the fact that the figure has a molded tank top, it gives you a wide variety of different looks for this action figure. And while versatility isn't an accessory in itself, versatility is a very key aspect when collecting action figures. And the versatility within the Valiverse Action Force Sergeant Slaughter is head and shoulders above the Hasbro version. Valiverse also provide a backpack, a grenade launcher, a med pouch, a pistol, a pistol holster, an action figure stand, and nine hands. Hasbro give us eight, Valiverse give us nine. We've got pinless joints, and finally the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter campaign hat is made from ABS plastic, which means it won't warp. And I know in these photos here, I, d I personally don't like the look of this campaign hat. I'm sure some of you will be okay with it, but this I can tell is made from PVC. And I can almost guarantee you that some of these are gonna arrive and you're gonna pull them out of the box and the brim of this hat is gonna be distorted. And that was one of the kind of key characteristics of Sergeant Slaughter back in the day, that his campaign hat always had a perfectly straight brim. With PVC plastic, you're not gonna get that. That's why we get warped weapons in the G.I. Joe line, and the same is gonna happen with this hat. Now, I'm not sitting here telling any of you not to buy the Hasbro G.I. Joe classified version of Sergeant Slaughter. If you like this particular look, you know, you want the classic 80s G.I. Joe look, the black tank top, the camouflage pants, all of that kind of stuff, the swagger stick, and you're willing to pay $33.99, go right ahead. But what you need to remember is as soon as you make that $39.99 payment, it completely disqualifies you from any arguments where you're saying that the Valiverse Action Force toy line is too expensive. It's not, right? That's a fact. It's my opinion that I don't like the look of this new body on the classified Sergeant Slaughter. I don't like the look of it. I think it's all out of proportion. It looks cartoony. But if you're okay with cartoony, that's up to you. That is an opinion. What is a fact is that the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter comes with more accessories. It's better made. It has pinless joints. So that's a fact. That's not an opinion. All right. 
All of us as six inch scaled action figure collectors in 2022, we want pinless joints. And you get pinless joints with Valiverse, you don't get pinless joints with Hasbro. So you can't keep jumping into my comment section or on the Valiverse Instagram or wherever you are, talking about the Valiverse figures being overpriced. This is the way forward for Hasbro, as is plastic free packaging. So, you know, we get some okay artwork here, but if you're a mint in box collector, this is completely useless to you. The Valiver Sergeant Slaughter figures you can display in the box and you've got a beautiful window and you can see all the equipment laid out. The Hasbro G.I. Joe classified version is now a solid box because they're going with plastic free packaging. So just have a think about what I'm saying and if, if you want to jump in the comments and disagree with me, I, I would really ask you to potentially go back to the start of this video and don't just hear what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. If you guys really want that classic look, you know, like this Sarge here that I got with the Triple T back in 1987 when I was a kid in England, if that's the look you want and you're willing to pay $33.99 for it, knock yourselves out. I hope you really enjoy the figure. I hope it becomes one of your favorites and it fits great in your display but you can't continue to sling mud at another independent toy company who is doing their very best when they don't have the same resources as a massive global corporation as Hasbro, and they are bringing you better value for money. Although the version one Valiverse Action Force Sarge is now sold out, there are still plenty of version two Sarges available on the Valiverse.com website. They're $2 cheaper from Hasbro, and they're packed in with a ton of extra gear and in my opinion, way cooler gear. Valiverse wasn't as silly enough to try and give their Sergeant Slaughter a Soviet weapon system. He gets this badass nickel-plated grenade launcher instead. So thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of my video collecting guides to Action Force where I discuss version one and version two with the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter action figure, you can click the links up here. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and I'll see you in the next video.